Yeah, we've been having a Bible study every week, and uh, we have we actually have multiple you know Bible studies, but uh, this is uh, something we're gonna have one today actually when this ends. Man, tell us about you know why it's so important that people just get plugged into the Word and and how the Word can really help them. Well, I mean, it really, uh, you know, God's given us His Word in a book, you know. Um, yeah, that's something, uh, you know, I know in Indianapolis we talked about a lot. You know, a lot of guys don't like reading, but the fact of the matter is, you know, that's that's where we've gotten God's Word is in a book. So we got to learn to like reading, and, uh, you know, that's uh, that's how we communicate with Him. And uh, so that's certainly important in, in my walk and uh, something I strive to, to uh, you know, uh, continue to grow in. As, as a, you know, we've got a good group of guys on this team. You know, there's guys like Russell, um, Chris Maragos, and uh, our, our, our our pastor Carl, and he's, uh, you know, all, all of us uh, try to, you know, stay, hold each other accountable. You know, we do it with Bible studies and chapels, and, um, you know, off-season we held Bible studies and everything, and try to read a, read a page out of a, a daily devotional um, that we all did as a team every day. And, you know, Russell, Russell Wilson's really good. Every morning we have a, a, a page out of Tony Dungy's daily uh, daily devotional every day in our locker so right there sit down that's what you start your day with and um, so you know everyone's keeping you holding you accountable all that group of guys yeah well you know it's just like on our football team you know in the Christian life you know Jesus Christ is my head coach uh, the teammates are you know I got new teammates and the Bible is my playbook you know, so just like I look at our playbook in, in Seattle and what we do, the Bible is the playbook. You know, it, it gives us direction. It, you know, gives us encouragement, gives us uh, challenge. You know, so I, I, the Bible is is God's word. Just being around people, other other Christian, other believers. You know, that really helps you when you go through those times where you have those weak moments. You got to always be able to like have people to hold you accountable. I got a lot of different guys, whether on this team or just back from college that. That I can always call it on when I, when things are going wrong or if I feel like I'm having at a weak moment. So I think that's that's really big for me. Very very intense. I mean, uh, they're almost like uh, seminary classes to be honest with you. Uh, Carl Payne, our chaplain, does a great job. Um, he's awesome at you know keeping things solely based on the word, not his opinion. And I think that's the most important thing from anybody that you're learning from is, you know, what what does God say? What what does His word say? And uh, you know, to, to be in a position to have a guy like him and, and to build into us, you know, so that we're in these moments we can really, um, you know, shed that light is great. Oh, first of all, you know, we, we try our best. I know it's not easy, but we try our best every morning that we wake up. We always make sure we put the word first, whether it's individually, but it mainly as, as we get together and we, we get up and read our books, you know, and it's um, it's just amazing how your day go, goes goes when you do put put him first. Uh, make sure you read the word and apply it to your life and your daily walk. And the days that you, you don't, you could tell the difference. So, you know, it's it's a very important for us to make sure that he's first in, in uh, first thing in the morning when we wake up, and it's it's been amazing so far. You know, he's he's taking care of us. He's protected us. He has us covered, and uh, he's he's blessed us with many friends and family. You know that uh, that keeps us accountable. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we don't we don't change our, our routine. Uh, we still have our Bible studies, and uh, Pastor Carl, he he's fantastic, second to none. Yes, he uh, he comes in, and I mean, he works with us directly day to day. He walks around our locker room if we need anything. Uh, if we just have a question about the Bible, he's he's there to answer it for us. Um, I mean, any our routine, like I said, it doesn't change. We have our Bible study on uh, Saturday nights, on Friday uh, afternoons. We have our Bible study after our, after our practice. Yes, even this week, things do not change around around us. Uh, that's just that's just how our organization is. So now I keep it right by my bed, and every morning when I wake up, I flip the page and I read it, and that's how I start my morning off. Just you know, you can get that little that little bit in you, and that little that little juice. That's all you need for the rest of the day. For us, you know, it really takes your mind off of football and really brings it back to to the book. You know what I mean? And that's you couldn't ask for anything more because sometimes that's what you need. You know what I mean? You need to get your mind off of that playbook, and you need to just sit down and read that other book. You know what I'm talking about? And and that other book, the Bible, that that that's where the power is, you know. And then, and for us, we we really are strong believers. We have a great great group of believers on this team, and it's amazing. Uh, I'm a man of faith myself, so uh, when I first got here this year, it was extraordinary to see the number of guys that just believe in and you know we're able to come together and have like devotion. You know, I mean, prayer before a game is. It's not our father, you know, it's just really personal. So just to have something like that, I mean, that's special in itself. And you know how it is, you get favor. You get favor when you got those guys that are, are all on one accord and, and on one page.